sometimes, man, sometimes. We're recording the Ross series with Gabrielle. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I pretend like I'm real close. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I have to put my life on hold. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I can't dream because. So guys, basically I, st I just started my workout and it's been three exercises that I'm doing. And because it's the raw series, I thought I would do like something raw and just share my thoughts, you know, share about the way I was going, you know, and just what is in my head. Um, I don't know if you heard me like say that in one of my podcasts or episode or one of my video, but like when I, I was a hockey player, guys, for 19 years I've, I've played hockey. I was talented. Um, and I don't want to be cocky or anything, but I was really talented, but I, f I fucked up. I wasn't giving my all, man. I wasn't, I wasn't like 100%, and could have been like for many reasons, you know? It could have been like because my father was maybe too pushy on me, um, I was too stressed, and I wanted just to rebel about it or something like that, but I, I have no idea why, but I never pushed myself to the maximum. Even though I was like skating super fast, I was playing well, but I couldn't have been like, really good you know just fucking good at it if i was putting my heart like i do in the fitness industry and one day my father told me mark you're not playing at your full potential i will stop uh coming to your game i'll just stop coming to your game and because you disappoint me you know you're you have no heart and you never showed me that you had heart maybe sometimes you have some good play or anything but now it's just i don't want to see that anymore you're just wasting your talent so that was when I was 15, if I remember, 15 or 16. Um, and I never been in the gym like before or anything at that point. I was like, damn, that's, that's fucking suck. And, and then I was like, oh, well, it's fine. I will just play like the way I want and just do whatever I want. And you know, when you're a teenager, you don't really care about it. You just want to party like with girls in high school, you know, and just go uh, on the weekend and just go out, you know, even though that you're underage. Um, so that was my situation at the time, and then when I started like to train, man, it's just it was a battle against myself. You know, I had no teammate with me. I had no one who could, you know, patch my mistake, play better than I was doing during the game, and just covering me up, you know, and just because it's a it's a teamwork, you know. But in the gym, it's just you against you. And if you don't push yourself, you will not get. You, you might get some result, but it might not be like the full result that you could have. And at the end of the day, you just know that you didn't push yourself and you know that you, you fucking suck, you know? You're not pushing everything that you can. You're not putting all your energy into it. And for the last year, I think that's what happened like with me, like in the gyms, just I came back to my old habits. I came back to the fucking pussy I was when I was playing hockey. I just came back to that and I just, and it's, it's nothing wrong, it's just like at some point, when you achieve stuff, you know, when you have like a good play or something, even when I was in hockey, that was what was going in my head. It's just like, ah, I'm skating fast, I can cover it up, or if I need to score a goal, like, I will just force myself more at that point. It's not like the entire game during an hour, 30, I was pushing myself, uh, or every single shift, every, you know, I wasn't giving everything every second. But, um, and what I'm doing right now is just, I'm not doing it just for myself, I'm doing it for you guys as well. I'm doing everything that I'm doing just to inspire you, just to inspire you to, to give everything that you have and not being like my father did, you know, just giving up on me on, on that point. Like, it might have been like the best thing he could have done like to me because it still marked me. And I, I told myself like when I started to train, I said, no one and my father will never tell me again that I have no heart. And I feel that the last year, man, I came back to this, to that, even though I, during three years, four years, I was like super intense and giving everything I could in the gym and with the videos, with everything I was creating. And I had my focus on other stuff, you know, business stuff and all that, that things. But at the end, the core of everything that I build is, is because of my performance. It's because I'm able like, to inspire you guys or, or do something that will trigger you. Um, so now I'm back at it. I'm just fucking back at it. I almost died doing push-ups. Uh, it was just insane. I was 
falling on the floor and just keep going and then five more and then falling on the floor and then five more and then falling on the floor two and then I was changing my grip and then I was just doing that you know um, and I just wanted to push myself now we'll go to another exercise but I thought it would be great for me like just to share this little clip with you just give it all you know because that's the only chance you have that's and it's not just give it all just for yourself for sure you need to do it for yourself but when you do everything that you can to reach what you want at the end of the day, other people see you, and these people will get inspired for you, and you will ignite something in them. You will ignite the fire. And I mean, I'm just back at it. You know, it's raw series, and I will get back to the condition I was in 2012, 2013, um, and with a little bit more muscle. You know, for sure, I like good things, but I might have like sit on my throne, you know, and just sit there. Not saying I'm the king, but like I'm the king of my own kingdom, you know, of of me, and I've just sit there and let things passed by me, you know, and not being the true warrior that I was. So, I mean, it's always like that in life. It's up and down and we just have to learn from it. And, um, and you have to look at yourself in the mirror when you don't give it all. You, you can have off season guys. It's important for your body. Like the best of the best in the world, the people who go to the Olympics, uh, Michael Felt, for example, like he, he have some, some two months, three months of recovery process because he pushed himself during the season. Um, but now my season, my, my off season is over, guys, and I will just get back at it full force. And I'm, I'm raging inside of me. It's just like, mm. and when you have that, when you're able like to rage, just because you push weights, it's not like punch, punching someone. Just raging at yourself because you want to be the best that you can, you know. And that's where I am right now. So that was what I had in my head. Um, I might not have said like everything that is in my head because it's just like battling so fast and I want to keep pushing with my workout, but that was just like uh, a hint between my workout. I didn't work out this workout. I was alone and I just wanted to focus on myself. That's another thing. Like when you record yourself every time, you have people around you, like two or three people who just are just there recording yourself, asking questions or people stop you, you know, it can, you know, it can be hard to get your focus, but that's not an excuse because I'm a professional fitness model and I need to to be able like to block that and just focus like a horse, you know, when he's doing like his race. Um, but yeah, at the same time, and it's just like, phew, been so much stuff happening and it's so much good things as well. You know, it's not, I'm, I'm gone or whatever. It's just, I've been able like, to achieve some, a lot of things, but it's not just achieving them. It's also at the end of the day, just knowing that you, you, you gave it all, you know, and it's not just lyrics that you say out loud. Um, you're just performing it and you're acting the way you should, you know, because I hone you something, guys. I, I ho hone you everything, you know. I hone you um, my energy. I hone you the way that I behave, the way that I'm training, the way that I'm editing videos, everything that I create. Uh, I hone it to the world, and I hone it to my family as well. Um, so, yeah, I guess that would be it. Uh, I'm just fucking raging inside of me, too to come back strong and just to be even better. So that's it, guys. This is my current condition, guys. <sighs> Look at that. Just a soul pump. <sighs> I gave it all. I gave it all. <sighs> Don't lower your standards just because you're I don't know, man. Just because you achieve stuff and people just congrats you for everything that you have achieved and all that stuff, don't take it for granted. You always have to prove something to yourself and you own it to yourself to set the momentum because if you're not doing that and you're not trying to be your best every single day, then you will never reach your full potential. Even though it's impossible to be perfect, I think it's it, it worth like trying, you know, and it's worth uh, giving it all so you can set the momentum for everything that you want to achieve and you can just be good for everyone around you not only because you act well but also because you inspire them that's it um so yeah guys right now it's time to go to the gym i've been up since 5 30 a.m today i just finished an interview with uh it's called montreal journal i guess in english the journal de montreal it's basically uh, i think is it the biggest journal here in quebec yeah i think it's the biggest journal here and I just finished an interview of 45 minutes. It was a video interview about Instagram. So they call the articles Kings of Instagram, something like that. I don't really like the title. Um, and that's what I said as well. Like in the, in the interview, I just say like, I don't see myself above people. 
I don't see me as having fans. I see me as having like supporters, followers, or people who believe in the same thing uh, that I do or envision the same life that I want or have, you know? So yeah, it was interesting. Uh, some question I didn't expect. It was quite cool, but now I'm pretty dead since it is um, almost 6 p.m. in 15 minutes. So yeah, quite dead. I'll take my pre-workout, some achieve, and I will only need drink half because I want some conquer as well. I broke my bottle of com bottle of conquer, so I put them in a cup here, in a cup, uh, in a mug. I'll take three pills. The um, recommended the dose age is five pills. When when I take pre-workout, there's already a large in in it, so I just take three pills. And I'll drink probably just half or three quarter of it. I didn't think about when I was putting my scoop because I was talking to the camera. So we'll do that. I'm in the new uh, Gymshark tank top. It's um, pretty cool. I feel like um, in the future, you know, or something. But yeah, it's a nice tank top. Here it's rubber. I didn't think I thought it was a prince or something. But yeah, nice fit. I need a pump though. Um, since I'm more strict about my diet, I only add 50 gram of, of carbs, pretty much, or 60 gram, just right before my workout. I will have some after my workout, and I maintain my, uh, my carbs pretty low. I will share with you a full day of eating soon, and I will also share with you what I use to make my diet a nutrition planner, and how I do it, and what's my macros. Uh, so comment below and like this video if you're looking forward for this uh, the first ever, not day in the life, but first ever full day of eating a lot of people have requested um, how do i still lean all year long and all that stuff so i will reply to you and i also take some questions for this video as well i'm super excited and now my head is just all around so i have no idea what to say uh, or where i'm going <laughs> with my speech uh, but yeah i'll do my pre-workout we'll go to the gym and i will have a clear vision over there uh, so yeah let's have this kick in and i'll be up and running This is so raw, you never stop. <laughs> Boom! Did you record it? <laughs> I don't have enough battery, I'll have to buy more. Also guys, I bought a new watch. Surprising, surprise. Um, it's, it's just for me, you, you have to understand, like everyone has like something, you know, that it's something that triggered them or they just enjoy it. Girls can be shoes or, uh, I don't know, you always have something that you prefer to buy. For me, it's bracelets and accessories, uh, but especially watches when I achieve something or when I work hard. So it's not just like I'm buying a watch to buy something, it's just I buy a watch for something that I have achieved and something that I'm proud of. And because I deserve it, it's kind of like a gift to myself and I just enjoy having watches, so I buy it for me. And I got the new uh, G-Shock G-Steel. And as you know, I don't like uh, metal bracelet. So I got this one, guys. It's so sick. Solar uh, watch, so you don't need any battery in it, I think. You can it just charge with the sun, so it's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it was just a watch I've seen like in Europe, but never buy a watch in Europe when you're there. In vacation, they're just way too expensive and they're overpriced. So I got it here for $300, Canadian dollars on Amazon, instead of like $500 when I was in Florence. Um, but yeah, look at the side of it. This is the same watch, just like the bracelet change. Look at that, so cool. Should receive it tomorrow. So I'm excited. Uh, yeah, I'll keep drinking my pre-workout. And I'll see you at the gym. Oh yeah. Ooh. This, this, uh, that. So today, guys, will be arms day. Uh, I didn't think I would be doing arms. The way I'd like to split my, my workout uh, yesterday is pretty much what I need to eat. Yesterday I did hamstring and chest, and today will be um, a circuit of abs and arms. We'll do the circuit of abs after all. It will be really intense, only a minute rest. I, I started my kind of like cut and getting back to the condition that I was uh, in 2012-13 slowly and I will increase the intensity so my body can get used to it. 
especially because I came back from a vacation. I only worked out four times there. Um, so yeah, I wanna make sure I don't injure myself and I'm all good. But I will still push myself like crazy. Uh, as I explained like in the previous video, I'm back at it in full force. I'm ready to break fucking everything. Let's go. Wallet, NBCs. Rocco! So, so guys, uh, I just found out like a new artist, a new rapper. Uh, his name is Wit Lori. Uh, that's, that's his name, I don't know if you can see it. Wit Lori. Um, he's a young rapper and he remembered me a little bit of like Eminem and I really liked like his flow and it's just really good. So um, I'll put a small clip. I have no idea if it's copyright or anything. So yeah, I guess if it's copyrighted, you won't see this clip. I will just see it like from YouTube, but yeah. I'll just put like another one like this one. That's a good one. Can tell you that in person, but always cooked on my music. Everyone who said they can't is a damn. Now I'm confused. I'm broken and bruised. Lonely, open empty. Maybe this one. And your grandma is screaming, you're worthless and calling you names to your face, mom. And I had to move to a place like a time and a rhyme to pick this picture. And I can't deny I would hide in my room and would cry from dealing with ya. He's a good rapper, so check him out. I'm not friends with him. I don't get anything from him, but I just enjoy his, his style and his energy and everything that he puts out. So check him out. And yeah, I guess that will just be it. It's a shout out uh, for free. It's just I found like a good artist. So um, yeah, I just enjoy it. Right now, I'll just warm up with 60 pounds. I'll do two sets of 12, 15 reps. Yeah, as you can see, my right side is always smaller. So this is rock and just say whatever I want. But yeah, my right side has, has always been like lacking from my left side. Um, but yeah, we'll catch up eventually. Just like keep working on it with dumbbells and separately it helped. Uh, helps. Uh, take a minute rest, and then I'll do a second set of warm up, and then I start a working set. Put some music on, so I can get in my flow because the music here just is just too commercial for me. Uh, I'll put some epic music. Like Guardians at the Gate, you know. That type of music, I don't know if you can hear. Uh. Yes, right now what I'm doing is a seated barbell curl, so it will be like a partial rep. So I'm just starting from here, from scratch, and I'm curling. I'm doing eight reps of that in supersets with alternating dumbbell curl for eight reps as well each side. I think that will be maybe too light. I'll just get 70. So I'm just doing this exercise to develop my forearms and yeah, pretty much like more my forearms, but also like my bicep. And it's just really different. So it's something I like to do in, to write in one of my workouts after a couple of months, just to uh, switch what I do with bicep usually like a full range of motion. Afraid.
Oh, even at the bottom, I never take a rest. I always keep my bicep contract. Two more. Something really important I like to focus on when you do bicep is using your grip as something that will help you develop your bicep and you recruit more muscle fiber. So every single time I'm doing like a curl or something, I always hold the bar as strong as I can. So I regroup more muscle fibers, even though that I can use 10 pounds or 15 pounds, it doesn't matter. So even here, when I don't use my left arm, I always hold the dumbbell as strong as I can. These wrist straps are super, super stiff. Uh, usually I use the other one like for such exercises. I will use these when I'm doing like heavy, heavy bench press because it's like having a cast. But I didn't have the other one like in my car, so the red one or the blue one or... So tight. Eh. It's really like for strong men. Basically right now, first, uh, is it first, no, not the first preset, but yeah, first preset of tricep. I'll do a regular push down for 15 reps and supersets with rope extension, 15 reps as well. I'm gonna take a minute rest. Too pump, I couldn't keep going. Uh, I'm able like, to fully extend my arms. Uh. 
Oh my god. Oh. That was good ish. The circuit today will be 20 reps of decline, regular crunch, abs crunch, in superset with uh, basically it's a giant set, it's just a circuit. So you do one exercise and then you jump to the, uh, to the next without any rest and then you repeat that three times. Um, we'll do side crunch on the mat like that and then we'll do hanging leg raise. So we will uh, work literally the entire portion of our, of our abs. So the, the side, the middle, and the lower as well. Um, but yeah, there we go, 20 reps on this. Side crunch. I will go on that side first since the mic is just right there. So basically when I do my side crunch, um, I can do it like in many position, but I like to take this position because uh, the range of motion is smaller and I can contract them even more than if I'm just like that and you like just to, you know, use your body weight and all that stuff. This way you just lock your um, lower body part, your legs, and you can just focus on the contraction of your side and you excel every time. 20 reps each side. Fan halfway through. I don't try like to work my serratus and really like the, the lateral. I go for really like my abdominal wall, not just the side and you know the, the serratus and the obliques. For sure you will ward them, but my main focus in, is on, on the abs just right there. Ah. Okay. Ah. And I like to touch my abs so you can just focus on the contraction. And if you can contract, close your eyes and just feel like if you were going in the muscle, you know, and just contracting them as much as you can and keep the contraction. A lot of people will take a rest when they are there, but you always keep them contract and you bring them inside. <sighs> Instead of like, con a lot of people think that they are working their ass, but what they do is they are just pushing their, their guts out. <sighs> what you want to do is like really feel that your abs are going in and you contract them. <sighs> ah. <sighs> Shit. Ah. I repeat, oh damn. It's really hard to bring them inside as I explained before. Because it's something that we don't think about, you know? But I learned it like uh, while doing Pilates. And it's, you know, you're not doing that with your abdominal wall. Do you see like the, the conic form that I have? And I'm contracting them, but I'm pushing them out. You want to bring them inside and be flat. As much as you can. Then you don't do that. You don't use your, your own body weight to help you out. Just focus on the contraction. If you place your arms there, it's just easier. You also add an extra weight. There we go. When you stop doing abs, I didn't do abs when I was like on vacation during two weeks, so I feel them like a lot right now. Uh, 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 uh. 
I'm in my backyard guys and I'm making this little part of this long video if you made it till the end congratulations and you should just give me a thumbs up um, and share it with your friends if you thought that the first speech in the video was awesome um, it was just a true talk and now what I want to say is just the momentum Udi from Rise or Ao so you can have it in green um, purplish uh, beige and also a charcoal they're awesome i really love the fit of them i really like the i really love the feeling and the quality of them so check them out at rise.ca and another thing ask your question below this video so in the next video i will answer a couple of your questions um yeah that's it so i'll see you in raw series episode 8 thanks for watching guys thanks for making it till the end it means a lot it's 30 minutes video uh it's quite long and uh still awesome you are awesome and i'll see you soon Cold. I mean my heart was froze